All right, I'm here with Section 29, John Bopape. Another knockout win for you, sir. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, my brother. I'm feeling really great. Uh, coming back from Russia, it was a good experience. So already there, I got the, the, the most top uh, kind of a fight that took out the rust that I might have during the year. So it made things easy to be fighting here at home. And here we are, second round knockout, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's fantastic. You came up, a guy, uh, up against a guy sorry, that's uh, known as a puncher. Um, he was swimming in there with you. Um, how did you feel his power? He does have a power, but the control, precision. He caught me a few times, almost he, he jolted me, but I had to keep, keep, keep calm, uh, go on with my chap, and then it opened, and then I had to land straight rights now and then. You were landing a lot of those straight shots. Those straight rights, they were, they were buckling his head back a few times. Were you feeling that uh, with each of those uh, punches that he was weakening? So as much as I saw the way his head was snapping backwards, I just knew that now nah, he's, he's, he's going down. Sooner or later, he'll be going down. So my, 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 my plan was not to knock him out. It was just to, to box him. So uh, I, I saw that he wants to finish the fight as early as possible because he has never reached a 10 rounds or 8 rounds the way I see it because most of his record it's TKO all of them and he also lost on TKO so I think that's he came, he came across a, a fighter that uh, was able to go into 12 rounds to go into to, to, to 10 rounds so I mean you did knock him out in the second round but there was three knockdowns so I felt that the referee was taking a little bit of time between the knockouts uh, to, to assess. What did you think? So as much as looking at the guy's record, he's not, he's not an amateur. So he has been there. He has seen a lot of fights. He has five fights, it's enough. So just need to give a guy a bit of a chance. And looking at him, he's still fresh. He's uh, still learning in the game. But yeah, I think it gave us that, uh, that, that edge to say we fought a lot of guys, I fought top guys in South Africa. So also gave me that, that bit of an edge of saying that I will win the fight. Beating the SA champion, um, did that give you confidence? So you beat the SA champion last year, I think? My brother, beating the SA champion, it gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me a lot of confidence to say I can rule middleweight in South Africa. So why not? Because I've beat good guys, you know, Ricky Chawalala is one of the top, yeah. top, top fighters here in South Africa. Credit to him. So, yeah. Well, I noticed that in the crowd there was uh, an interested middleweight watching your fights. Um, Pikile Lalane Kumalo, he was watching your fights and he, you know, he had his eye on you. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, any boxer that comes and say, I want to fight you, I'll take the fight. I wouldn't... Uh, look upon him, uh, undermine him. He's still a fighter at the end of the day. So I'm also a fighter. He's a man, I'm a man. That's the square ring there, and then we can meet there. If ever things come right, maybe one day we'll, we'll be in the ring together. Do you feel that you deserve a shot at the SA title next, considering the fact that you beat the SA champion? Yes, I think, I think. Uh, as much as Mchongo won yesterday, it just gave me the chill to say, you know what? SA boxing in middleweight will be interesting because we've got good guys, Pigelelani, Mchongo, me, you know. There's a lot of guys, Walter, Lamini, those are big guys. So I just need to up my game, put up my cards and throw a jab. I know you're not one to really call guys out, you know, you take one fight at a time, you know, you take it like that. But I mean, in, in an ideal world for you, what, do you, what would you want next? Uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on taking the SA title. I think that's my focus right now. And then from there, anyone who comes will get what he, they, they want. Yeah. What did you work on for this camp in particular? What I mean, when you heard you were fighting him, what was your game plan? Uh, my game plan and the game plan, I just only did the pets. I never sparred for this fight. What? Yeah, I never sparred for this fight. There, I won't lie. I only did the pets. So I think the, 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 the boys did the gym speed. They helped me with her speed, uh, they helped me with uh, power, because they're still young. So there and there, we fixed our mistake, and then from now on, we'll see what, what comes up. 
When was the last time you sparred? You said you didn't spar, but when was the last time? Uh, there was a fight. That I was supposed to fight on the same uh, promotion on the, I think, the, the 12th of November, of, of, of October. Okay. So the fight was, was, was cancelled. And then it was moved to, I was, fight, I was supposed to fight uh, Tristan Truta. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the fight was cancelled and then that's when it was injured. moved. Mm, yeah, I think he got injured. So I said, you know what, I can't be chasing and, you know, just take everything one step at a time. So. How do you think that fight would have gone against uh, Tristan Trutzer, considering he's moved up to the middleweight division recently? Uh, at the moment, the part, here in middleweight, you should know that we're punching him. There is no, we're not talking about too much uh, speed or talking about power so I think that's that's the only thing that at the moment will matter after the fight after you got the knockout uh, you did you know say that you wanted the belt with your hands you gestured like you know the belt should be around your waist I want that belt I want that belt even today I want that belt if it's next year next of next year it doesn't matter I will get that belt how do you think a second fight goes considering you won the first fight at the moment uh, I've read a lot of things about our first fight and in the rematch I wouldn't say it will be easy because the guy will, will be coming gun blazing. So I just need to up my game better than before. So yeah. You're sort of the younger, fresher fighter between the two of you, does that help you? I think it does give me an edge. It does give me an edge to win the fight, to take the belt and you know, uh, promote the middleweight in South Africa and make sure that it, it has more action. If uh, you had a message uh, for Bulldog, what would you say? Uh, Bulldog, I would like to say a congrats from yesterday's fight, my friend. Uh, you deserve it. Uh, and I would love, love, love to fight you again. And I think it should happen. It, 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 the, the fight should happen. Let's get a rest. Me and you were pummeled. So next year, I'm just crossing fingers that Someone notices both of us and then gives us the fight. Thank you. And, uh, lastly, do you want to give a thank you? Shout out for anybody, John Bopape. Um, shout out to my family, my mom, uh, my siblings, uh, my lovey dovey, you know, uh, my, 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 my gym, uh, my coach, the boys at the gym, everyone around, friends. My colleagues at work, my company, they've been great to me. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, my brother.